Another season, another roadmap. My name is Mr. Freeze2244, and welcome to the summer roadmap for 2023 for Hitman World of Assassination. There's some new things in here that uh, a lot of people haven't going to be well played. There's some new suit unlocks as well, and there's plenty of elusive targets. So let's get into the crux of it. So here's a brief look of the roadmap. Uh, I'm going to go into obviously go into a lot more details. Obviously, people are going to be their curiosities are going to be piqued with the top right, especially where it says premium content. We will certainly get into that. But uh, let's start off with June. Considering that today is June, uh, we're in the 8th of June right now. I've got a new challenge out today, which I will release after this video. But having just checked, it's not available yet. Uh, so we we'll, might have to wait for that. It's called Kickback Kimono. So it says, the exciting first destination on the summer roadmap brings you to the Kickback Kimono challenge set in Hokkaido. By completing this new challenge, you'll unlock the exclusive VIP patient suit. And once you've completed this challenge, embrace the rich heritage of Japan by strolling through the world in this piece of traditional Japanese clothing. It's a fascinating cultural journey you won't want to miss. So the default loadout, or the default outfit uh, that you get in Hokkaido will be available to play across all the maps once you've completed the challenge. I don't know what the challenge is. Again, I've just checked and uh, it's not available in the game yet. So I'll keep an eye out for that one. If it's a complicated one or something that requires a guide, then I will indeed de post a video walkthrough of it. If not, then obviously I'll just leave it because if it's just something really, really simple, you're not going to need a guide, trust me. Also released today are featured contracts. Personally, I'm not interested in featured contracts whatsoever. They're calling them curated contracts, even though it's just featured contracts picked by a different person. But yeah, there's new contracts in the game. You don't unlock anything, but if you are enjoying those featured contracts, go for it. Uh, they are released today. Next thing is for free starter pack players. Free location rotation for Marrakesh. From June 8th, an exciting opportunity awaits for all free starter pack players. Embark on a time-limited journey to the vibrant red city known as Marrakesh. Immerse yourself in the delightful flavors of local cuisine. Indulge in the aromatic delights of hookahs and brace yourself for encounters with persistent rug merchants. Rug merchants indeed. People that love to sell carpets and lamps and hats for extortionate prices. So enjoy enjoy that. Live some light I say. These are dark times, no? Yeah, that's all come today. So from next week we have our first set of elusive targets of this roadmap. Uh, we haven't had a roadmap for, uh, sorry, we haven't had a, a looser target for a couple of weeks now. So, this is our first one, coming June 16th, The Gun Runner. So this takes place in Marrakesh. If you are after that, is it it's called Summer Suit? I think it's called the Summer Suit. So basically the default Marrakesh suit with the gloves. So if you are looking to get that suit, you can unlock it with this one, if it's the first time playing a Marrakesh looser target. Uh, mark your calendars for June 16th, as The Gun Runner makes a comeback in Marrakesh for 10 days. Brace yourself for a pulse-pounding elusive with Vito Durich as your target. Known among the well-informed, Durich is a no-ordinary figure. With a captivating personality, he reigns as a charismatic arms dealer and a master at breaking sanctions. His legendary status lies in an unparalleled ability to procure anything for anyone. The ICA has been tracking his every move, highlighting his extensive participation in countless covert conflicts throughout the past. It's not easy to say that. Countless covert conflicts. Co conflicts. Try saying that ten times fast. I'm usually pretty good at tongue twisters as well. Maybe I'll just get. I don't know. I slit the sheet. The sheet I slitted on the slitted sheet. I sit. I can. I can say tongue twisters like that. But that got me for some reason. <laughs> anyway, moving on to June 23rd, we have a new elusive target: the stowaway for year three. Uh, this takes place in Isla Scale, so it says set sail and return to the Isla Scale where your next loser target awaits. Meet Jimmy Chen, a tabloid journalist who takes killing for a front page story quite literally. But fear not, for your mission is to eliminate him and secure his valuable dictaphone. However, exercise the utmost caution as Jimmy is no ordinary mark. With his cynical and paranoid nature, he possesses unique behavioural patterns and will swiftly respond to any sign of your presence. Stay undetected and execute your mission with finesse because every move counts. 
I don't know about you, but I am so tired of playing the Dissolution Saga. I'm, I'm, we must have played them so many times right now. Like five times? Six times? It's a lot. It feels like a lot, anyway. I, I remember him popping up quite frequently in the Lucid Saga arcades as well. But I don't even think you unlock a suit with that, do you? I'm not, I'm not completely sure. Do you lock that um, Arkin Tuxedo with this? I'm not completely... I can't remember. But anyway, yeah. Lucid Saga, that's for Isla Scale. June 23rd, so enjoy that if you are looking forward to that. So at the end of June, June 30th, we have the elusive target, the Procurers for Year 3. Prepare to dig into a macabre meal. The Procurers have returned to Dartmoor, dishing out their lavish cuisine with a twisted flair. Your targets, Jack Rowe and Robert Burke, form the iconic duo known as the Procurers, globetrotting with their uh, peculiar skills. While one crafts innovative dishes as a renowned chef, the other is an embalmer with a, an eerie touch. That's where you come in, hungry for justice. Starting from June 30th, where you'll have a 10-day opportunity to ensure they serve their last supper. Sink your teeth into this mission and let them savour the darkest meal yet. Bon appetit. And uh, should we say, bon appetit. What? Have I just, have I just missed a joke there? I don't know. I, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't understand what that's supposed to mean. But anyway, the Procurious, Year 3, June 30th. I shall be there. Dartmoor. Should be the last time we cover that one. That's the last of June. So we're moving on to July content. So July content we have... Is anything juicy in there? Uh, not really. Anyway, let's just start from the beginning. July the 6th, we have a new challenge, it's called. And we also have it. well, it's not a new suit, but it's a suit you'll you will recognise from Haven Island. Boom, there you go. New challenge, Hot Fizz. I don't know, maybe I'm, I don't know if I'm saying that right. July 6th, we soak up the sun with the hottest summer style of 2023. Introducing the Tropical Islander suit. The ultimate sunny sensation. This outfit is as refreshing as a cool breeze on a warm summer day, featuring a short sleeved white shirt that's as bright as the summer sky, paired with the delightful light brown shorts that are as sweet as a, a pina colada. That's, that's the perfect choice for those looking for a, to make a splash. It's very incredibly cheesy. Dive into the New Haven Island challenge called the Hot Fizz, and you'll earn the right to show off the Tropical Island suit wherever your summer adventures take you. So don't take, don't be a beach bum. Get your hands on this trendy outfit and let the summer vibes flow. I'm wondering if they're going to actually release that to other suits. Um, the one where, is it with the Hawaiian shirt thing? That's in his, uh, that's in his hut. Although it's got a bit of issues, isn't it? When you start running in that outfit, he sort of like clips through his body. So hopefully they fix that. Yeah, hopefully they fix that and hopefully they release that at some point. But yeah, if you are interested in the Sapienza shirt with brown shorts, go for it. Unlock that suit. It's, it's going to look incredibly awkward on a lot of those maps. It doesn't really suit a lot of maps. It suits Sapienza, actually. Maybe, 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 actually, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. It would actually suit a couple of the sunny maps, wouldn't it, really? Like Sapienza and uh, Miami. Yeah. But yeah, that's a new challenge coming July 6th uh, that's taking place in Haven Island. Uh, next, again, we have more featured contracts. Uh, again, I'm not interested in featured contracts myself, but if you are interested in featured contracts, well, they're calling it curated contracts by a member of our community, uh, or a member of the Hitman community. Um, it says, prefer, prefer you... I'm not even going to bother reading it, forget it. Next next location is, uh, for relocation for free starter pack players, is Bangkok. Free starter pack players, pack your bags as the next stop, uh, next stop on our location rotation is the exquisite Himapan Hotel. This luxurious haven in the heart of Bangkok offers an escape where you can indulge in the finest pleasures. Circuit it all in July, July 6th for a limited time. And during that time you can have an experience of playing the elusive target in, uh, in, um, in good old Bangkok. The Ex-Dictator for July 14th. July 14th marks the return of Richard Aquenzi, famously known as the Ex-Dictator, and his wife Inez, nicknamed the Gold Digger, to the vibrant city of Bangkok. For the next 10 days, they will have chosen their luxurious Himapan Hotel as their temporary abode. 
While they may appear to be enjoying a relaxed stay at the hotel, behind closed doors they are engaging in secret meetings with former associates. Seize this golden opportunity to catch them off guard. With their guard down and no expectation of your presence, you can leverage this situation to your advantage. Plan your moves carefully and strike when they least expect suspect it. The element of surprise will be your greatest ally in ensuring their downfall. I'm confused really, but when they, I think remember when the when this originally came out, I remember his wife wearing a blue dress, and for some reason they've changed the colour to white dress. I'm not sure why, but July 14th that's coming. I will indeed do a new guide on that. July 21st we have the uh, elusive target, the appraiser, again visiting Isla Scale once more. Your target is Miranda Jameson, famous art appraiser and director of the Gorka Institute in Barcelona. She does anything for a good deal, and we mean anything. Dot, dot, dot. She'll be arriving on the Isle of Skill on July 21st, and you'll have 10 days. Good luck. It's a very short briefing compared to the others. But that's July 21st. That's Alusa Target, the appraiser from Isle of Skill. One week again. After that, we have July 28th, the Alusa Target, the iconoclast for year three. Uh, this is in Mendoza. So it's the time. This is it's time for some, some vineyard vengeance as the notorious iconoclast returns to Mar Mendoza for a suspenseful 10 day stay. This elusive target figure will be uh, wandering through the sprawling vineyards. But who knows, maybe her taste for destruction will leave her unable to savour the last grape. Cheers and good luck. And cheers is my line. Stealing my lines. But that comes July 28th. Uh, again available for 10 days. So that covers everything for July. There's three elusive targets. Uh, free map loads of rotation from Bangkok, uh, 10 more featured contracts, and the Tropical Islander suit. It will be available to unlock with a Hot Fizz challenge coming July 6th. So that's all everything covered for July. Here comes the August stuff, including the premium content. So this is the juicy bits. Game update 3.160 is set to arrive in August. It will feature fixes, tweaks, and quality of life improvements. Ha! Huh. Where have we heard that one before? But the specifics will come out later through the patch notes close to the release date. We'll certainly cover that in detail, as we usually do. Um, I'm certainly interested to see what their version of quality of life improvements are. They said that before, and we got a lot of stuff that was nerfed in the last update. I don't know how um, making sure that the bank vault pays out less and in making sure the lasers in the bank vaults are permanent. A quality of life improvement. I don't know how that's a quality of life improvement. I don't know. Maybe our definitions are completely different, but that's certainly not an improvement for me. That's just the that's just the one of the many things that they changed and made it worse for freelancer players. Anyway, let's moving on to the August seventeenth premium content. So this is where it all is, and this is probably going to be a little bit controversial. So the good news is the Sarajevo 6 campaign is coming to all platforms. Uh, we haven't seen this in an updated version of the game since 2016. So it came out with Hitman 1 and probably had some sort of rights agreement with you know Square Enix and PlayStation. It was a PlayStation exclusive after all on the PS4. And we haven't seen it since. And uh, we, we actually played this recently on the 24, the 24 hours live stream a couple of weeks ago. So it's interesting that this, this is now coming out. But uh, yeah, it's going to come at a price though. The Sarajevo 6 campaign makes a grand return on August 17th, priced at $4.99 US dollars across all platforms. You can embark on the extraordinary journey through six additional contracts that weave together a captivating side story centered around former members of the parliamentary unit known as Cicada. As Agent 47, you will traverse the globe, relentlessly pursuing your targets to track down these individuals dispersed across the vast world of assassination. Your destinations and targets are Paris, where Scott Sarno, known as the Director, awaits, Sapienza, where you will encounter the Enforcer, Marrakesh, home to the Extractor in seclusion, Bangkok, where the Veteran has taken refuge, Colorado, the hiding place of the Mercenary, finally in Hokkaido, the Controller is undergoing treatment at the Gamma Fish facility in Hokkaido. These six, 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 this, bleh, let me spell that, let me say that again. These six targets have returned and ready to be dealt with in the world of assassination. Sariova 6 was originally released only for Hitman 1, but now all players have the opportunity to go head to head with the six targets and take them down what remains of Cicada. Good luck. 
We re again, we recently played this on a 24-hour live stream a couple of weeks ago. It's aged fairly all right. Uh, a couple of the targets are a bit annoying. Uh, I would say the Bangkok one. Without, I'm not going to spoil it. Colorado one is annoying though, and so is Bangkok. Hokkaido is a bit boring as well. But yeah, I'm glad it's coming to all platforms and a lot of new players will get a chance to play this for the very first time. It's pretty much like six elusive targets that have basically been gelled together into some sort of campaign. You get a briefing for each one, all that kind of stuff. So there is a story behind it. Uh, I think it was locked in some sort of exclusivity deal with PlayStation and Square Enix had some sort of say in it as well. So I'm assuming that that's the reason why they've been held back for such a long time. But being priced at $4.99 US dollars across all platforms, let me know what your thoughts are on that. I personally think they shouldn't be charging for this. Um, I don't know, it just seems like a bit of a cash grab to me in my opinion. But I think they should, uh, well, let me know your thoughts in the comments anyway. But uh, I would say it's probably, I don't know, I don't know if it's worth it. Is it. Only you can answer that question really. If you like elusive targets, then it's something that you will like, you'll probably enjoy. It depends on how much, how, how much you value money really, I suppose. Also on the agenda as well is the Trinity pack. A lot of people have been asking about this. This was the pre-order pack that came with the game. So if you pre-ordered Hitman 3, you would have gotten the Trinity pack, which is the white suit, the red suit, the black suit, with the with the same colored guns and the same colored briefcases that go along with it. So it says, in August, we are thrilled to reintroduce the Trinity pack. Initially offered as an exclusive pre-order bonus for Hitman 3, the Trinity pack commemorates all three games within the Hitman trilogy. And will be available to buy for 4.99 US dollars on August 17th. This incredible pack has three stylish suits, for, uh, three formidable, three formidable guns, and three briefcases to match their drapes. And that's also a price at 4.99. So together, we're talking 9.98 US dollars. Um, again, I can't answer whether it, whether it's worth it or not. Only you can answer that question. To me, I, to me, it's not worth it for me. Uh, I already had it anyway, I've already got it, but I don't think these suits look very good anyway, in my opinion. I, su I suppose the coloured pistols look pretty good, the white pistol and the white briefcase is kind of cool. Um, but the suits themselves, I'm not a big fan of them, to be honest. But again, uh, we, all diff we all have different tastes and we all have different uh, priorities and, you know, and stuff like that. So if you are into suits and you are into different coloured weapons and th briefcases and stuff, go nuts, go, go, go crazy, go buy them, if you like. So the Sarajevo 6 is 4 dollars and this Trinity pack is 4 dollars as well. So that's that. That's the premium content out of the way. That premium content section was in its own separate paragraph, but that's all coming August 17th, along with the update. So, so when the new game update comes out, the Sarajevo 6 will be available, as well as the Trinity pack. But for coming August 3rd, at the start of the month though, we have the summer event, the Dartmoor Garden Show. If you're enjoying the World of Assassination as a free starter pack player, then you can look forward to the garden show you'll never forget. Visit or revisit Dartmoor from Hitman 3 as it's completely changed into a beautiful garden show with flowers from all across the globe. The Dartmoor Garden Show is a unique escalation contract styled seasonal event introduced with Hitman 3. It takes place in a reimagined version of Dartmoor during a garden show where 47 must elim eliminate both judges and contestants. So it is a bit of an interesting escalation as well, so I do recommend playing it if you have not played it before. That's the Dartmoor Garden Show, available August 3rd for free starter pack players. For people that already own Hitman World of Assassination currently, you can play that now if you like. You can play it all, all you like, it's all already available for you. This is mainly to attract uh, the free starter pack players to give them a, a little bit of a taste of the Dartmoor Garden Show. August 17th, we have more curated contracts. Uh, that's 10 more contracts coming. Uh, the theme is the comic book store. It's going to be, that's the theme of it. But yeah, more featured contracts, August 17th, if you're into that stuff. August 18th, we the free location rotation is Colorado this time. It says your favorite apricot farm returns for all free starter pack players to enjoy starting August 18th. This location is rumored to be one of the toughest in, rumored to be one of the toughest in the world of assassination. Believe in the rumors, take it for a spin and test your skills. I like how it says rumors. It's rumored to be one of the toughest, rumored. But yeah, August 18th, free starter pack players go crazy on that map. Uh, it might put you off buying the game, to be honest. <laughs> More than anything else. 
but you will uh, you should enjoy it. Hopefully you enjoy it. August 25th, we have the elusive target, the politician for year three. This is the most weakest elusive target in the entire series, probably. Dive into the intriguing world of politics as your next target is the infamous Barbara Keating, also known as the politician. Brace yourselves because she has made her grand return to Hawke's Bay, ready to sway opinions and gather support for a solid 10 days commencing on August 25th. But here's the catch. Be sure to keep those eagle eyes uh, sharp because Barbara Keating has a doppelganger. Yes, you heard it right. It seems like politics isn't the only arena where doubles are causing confusion. In this case, only the real target holds the key to success. So be careful not to fall for any political decoys. It's an interesting concept, this, having a, like, a body double and stuff like that. But it's just a shame that it's just such a, an easy, such an easy elusive target. Because you can just set something up. All it takes is literally one bullet to set something up. And then that's it, you're done. I don't think I'll be making a guide for this. I've made them too many of them. It doesn't need one. It's super, super simple and super straightforward. So that covers everything in August. Coming up in September, uh, the first thing of September 1st is the Chameleon for Year 3. This is a loser target that takes place in Colorado. So those people that are playing the free starter pack, starter pack in Colorado, they can probably enjoy this as well. I think it's uh, within the time limit anyway. The calendar might say September, but the two upcoming elusive targets are still part of the summer roadmap. Showcase your unmatched talent for the art of deception with this elusive target. Your hey, that wasn't me skills will be put to the ultimate test in the chameleon makes his return on the infamous apricot farm slash mercenary camp in Colorado. Your objective is to identify and eliminate the chameleon while making it appear as it were as it were an unfortunate accident. Oh yeah, remember this. You're not allowed to. You got. I don't think you're not allowed to. You're not allowed to take him out any other way apart from an accident kill, and you can't use an explosion either, if I remember correctly. But I think this. At least this elusive target. He doesn't move. He just sits in one room. He doesn't really move. It does present you with an opportunity though. So there's that. Or, uh, that's uh, September 1st. So coming up at September 8th, this is the final thing, a part of this roadmap, is the elusive target, the Ascensionist, in Year 3. Gear up for September 8th as we return to the Golden City of Dubai. Your target is one and the only con artist extraordinaire. The Ascensionist, oh, who possesses an uncanny ability to scale the social ladder using any means necessary. Her journey of deception and mayhem has led her straight to Dubai. That's where your paths intersect. Come September 8th, show her that gravity has a way of catching up with those who try to climb too high. Remember, the higher they ascend, the harder they fall, and you'll be there to witness it firsthand. September 8th. But that wraps up the roadmap in its entirety. So again, nothing really stands out too much. Um, it's the same thing, really. A loose targets, a loose targets, featured contracts. Uh, I think the main standouts to this entire roadmap is probably the suits... And the fact that the Sarajevo 6 campaign is back, available for all players. So a huge portion of the community haven't even played the Sarajevo 6 contract. So it's going to be exciting news for uh, players that haven't played it yet. Um, the Trinity pack is going to excite the players that haven't had a chance to have a look at these suits and actually use them. So if you are into that stuff, then enjoy it. Hopefully you do get the most out of it. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. Before we go though, I just wanted to say that uh, we've we've actually hit 150,000 subscribers here on YouTube. We hit that just yesterday. I didn't think we'd ever get this much subscribers when I started off. I didn't think we'd get anywhere near it to be honest. But man, it's been what a, what a journey it's been. We're obviously coming to an end now that now the Hitman is dying down. Um, but uh, hopefully, there's some new paths opening up. Hopefully tonight's Summer Game Fest opens up some new avenues for us. Let's just see it that, say it that way. But I just want to say thank you for all the years of uh, support. I really do appreciate it. And let's just see where the next journey takes us. Or not, in that case. I, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen, but uh, we'll just have to wait and see. But thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Let me know your thoughts on what you think of this roadmap that has been released. I've updated these credits as well, so big thank you to all the supporters for the last month or so. I really do appreciate all the support. Thank you very much. We're going to do a live stream tomorrow as well to celebrate the 150,000 subscribers. So, join us there. Don't know what we're going to do yet. We just have to, I'll make it up on the spot. I don't know. I'll think about it. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. I shall see you in the next video, whenever that may be. Cheers.